Now, in the midst of rising anti-Semitism that we've been seeing across the United States and here locally, national Jewish organizations, they've come together and they've announced a massive rally that is now planned for the National Mall next Tuesday, November 14th. It's called the March for Israel. And joining us to talk about the event is President and CEO of the Jewish Federations of North America, Eric Fingerhut. Uh, the march is expected to be one of the largest pro-Israel marches in the nation. And it makes you think back to some of the Jewish community rallies we've seen in the past, some from 2002 on the National Mall, 1987 comes to mind. Can you help talk about the focus of this upcoming march? Well, uh, there's really three important things that uh, the Jewish community and all Americans, this is Americans are standing uh, and marching for Israel that, uh, that we want to communicate. One is we support uh, the work that President Biden has been doing and that Congress has been doing, and we want them to know that, that, uh, that, that those policies have the overwhelming support of the American people. We know there are disagreements, uh, but their overwhelming have support, uh, bipartisan support, uh, and we want to demonstrate that. We want them to visually look out their windows and see that uh, on the National Mall. Number two, uh, Hamas still holds over 240 hostages for over a month. We must keep the focus on freeing the hostages. Uh, and thirdly, there has been a rise in anti-Semitism on our college campuses and high schools in our communities. It's an attempt to intimidate, frankly, uh, people from their support uh, of Israel and their opposition to Hamas. And we are going to march in great numbers to show that we are not intimidated um, and that we are uh, we're standing strong and that we are going to continue our support. Uh, it's been disappointing to see that as a graduate of the University of Maryland, these anti-Semitic incidents, they date back to, to my time there. It's frankly disgusting. I'd like to talk to you about the number of people that you're expecting for this rally, Eric. I've seen on the permit application as many as 60,000. Are you expecting more than that? And, and what does this mean to the Jewish community to come together in a massive group like that? Well, I, I, we can't obviously know exactly what the numbers will be. The permit was, uh, was designed to accommodate what... Uh, 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 what we hope uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have here, but, but uh, we'll all see. You'll see together with me. Um, but uh, what it means is a very uh, powerful statement of unity. Uh, this rally is going to represent uh, political and religious opinions from the left, the far left to the far right of our community. But more importantly, it's Americans marching. It will be Christian groups and Muslim groups and, uh, and African American groups and Latino groups. This is, this is Americans who understand that this war, Israel's war against Hamas, is no different than America's war against ISIS, against Al Qaeda. This is the same war against terror. Um, and, uh, and we stand as Americans in support of the American policy uh, and the work of our, uh, of our leaders. All right, I wanted to talk about logistics. So this is happening on a weekday. It's the middle of the afternoon, and we know that Congress will be in session. And so I'm curious, how do you plan to handle safety with so many people gathered? Well, look, we're in, we're in, we're in the nation's capital. We're on the National Mall. Uh, we have the benefit of the unbelievable uh, good work of our nation's law enforcement, the Department of Homeland Security, FBI. Uh, we also have the nation, the National Park Police, the D.C. Police. Uh, I believe they are all going to go out of their way to make this a safe uh, environment for everyone who comes. Um, and in, in fact, uh, you know, as I said, unfortunately, one of the reasons for this march. Uh, is that is that the Jewish community hasn't felt safe uh, in its in the places where it should feel safe on campuses and in their houses in our houses of worship uh, and in our communities um, and uh, and and we need to bring that message too so uh, so regardless of of the level of security which we feel very confident of uh, the Jewish community across America wants to come to the National Mall and let all Americans know. We know America doesn't tolerate anti-Semitism. We know this is not what our country is like, and we're going to stand together uh, to push back against it. Yeah, you're absolutely right in saying that no one, no group, nobody anywhere in America should live in fear, despite uh, the, the, the risks and the threats out there uh, that you'll be bringing this, uh, this rally together next Tuesday. Eric Fingerhut with the National Jewish Federations of North America. We appreciate your time, and of course, we'll be covering this event very closely in the lead up and, of course, next Tuesday as well. Thanks. Thank you both for your time. You bet.